If you look at it this way, Mr. Milner, she had no input into the selection of a company that you contracted with to do work on your property. Yes. What you are suggesting to me is that they did their job in a very negligent fashion. Yes. That's what you're yes. suggesting yes. to me. Well, but she had no input in the selection of these people. Yes. That was your job. So that she has two options, actually three. She can say to you, you use your homeowner's insurance and I expect to be made 100% whole. And if what you say to me, Mr. Milner, is that she did suggest that to you, but you chose not to do that, because I don't hear that as soon well, as it happened, you said, I'll go through my homeowners, you know, and call them and they'll come and take a look at your car, because after all, this is my responsibility. Yes. Well, Your Honor, I never got to see the damage of the car. Do you have photographs of the car? Maybe yes. we'll show it to you um, now, Mr. Milner. Her insurance company didn't get to see damage of the car. She turned it in before she turned in the, the insurance. Listen to I me. I know. An insurance I, company... I, I know the fence that caused it, and it was due to me getting it exterminated. But, you know, I tried to get this fence fixed before I tented. I asked Barbara for her landlord's phone number, and she said she didn't know her uh, landlord's phone number. And she's lived there for over 13 years. And, and I What's asked again... I, wait a minute. I asked again, and, and then she gave me her email number. I so, wanted to get this fence fixed. It's not my fence. It's not on my property. And I can show you pictures of it. I know it was caused by the extermination company. That is correct. Yes. It was caused by a company that you selected that you okay. now say was negligent in what they did. Her property was damaged, yes. not as a result of anything that she did. Okay. If there is any culpability, it would be the tenting company, the exterminator, yes. and yours. Yes. And you chose, yes. by not going through your homeowner's insurance, to put her in a position of having to sue a strange but. company, or if you knew that there was damage to the car and your home was tented, I would have said, listen, go through your car insurance. You have a deductible $500. I'm taking $500 off the exterminator's bill. You could have done that. That way she would have been whole and the axe would have fallen on the throat where it properly belonged, but you would have had to do it. Yes. I'm not that shrewd, but... You're not that shrewd. You know, well, um, that's she a, did if have you were a that shrewd, you'd have a TV program. She did have a conversation with me about... She came over to my house and she said, it's no longer the insurance company. She quit. It's just me and you. And I said, I still have an insurance company and, and let me get a hold of them. And then in the meantime, I, I got turned around one. and I got filed. She filed a complaint but before that i didn't know she sent me a letter asking me that um but i didn't know she sent me a letter saying she wanted me to pay her well now um, we now we know now you know you knew you weren't coming here because i was preparing a brisket you no, knew you were coming um, here because she was suing you no but see she sent me a letter with the wrong name like I, judgment for the she plaintiff never and the asked, amount of $500. She I'm never asked with this me case. for the $500. Thank oh, you.